Hi, I'm Claudia Ruiz Graham, the founder of Image Reality. I posted over the weekend this image and I was asking if this was AI generated. Actually, it's not. It corresponds to a 3D model of a metamorphic rock. A piece of slab uh, like this that I scanned using my phone, the scanner on the back of my phone, to create a 3D model using an application, an application called Scanniverse. I then imported this into Stratbox, and this is what you see here. I'll show you, is, it is actually a 3D model. You can see it there. It's just a nice slab. And, um, and what uh, I really liked and I really loved was, you know, the resolution of this. How uh, you can see all the fracture and deformations the formation on this in great level of detail. And uh, just to describe it over there, you know, there seems to be like a big fault on here with a series of fractures and cross-cutting relation relationships between those fractures. And we actually, you know, see beautifully how these fractures propagate. You see how some fractures seems to be more dominant in one sector of the section than in another in, in the left hand left sector of the section. And, and then you get to see some beautiful, you know, feeling of veins, hydrothermal veins that probably came in, during the folding period. I decided to do an exercise with ChatGPT. I took an image of this and uploaded it into ChatGPT. This is the image and then I asked ChatGPT for a geological interpretation. I identified this as a metamorphic rock. I identified sort of the banding and folding, which is good. It also identified the fractures and veins. Talk about, you know, potential hydrothermal events. It, it described those green areas as potential chloride or serpentinite and also talk about, you know, potential pockets of Calcite. It described the deformation zones as brittle and ductile. Talk about shear zones. So, you know, in terms of the overall description, eh, no bad. Then it asked me to, it offered to create an image showing the different eh, classifications. And then created this image, which actually doesn't correspond to the crop, to the rock. It's actually a representation. Then um, I asked her to color code, you know, drawing different colors, the different types of veins and fractures. But again, it was doing this on the image created by itself rather than the actual representation of, of the rock. And then I asked it to create a geological cross section of this. And basically, uh, you know, not something that doesn't make any uh, geological sense over here. I asked to map over the original fractures, the, 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 or, or the original uh, image, the fractures, but again, it did it over, you know, I think an image generated by itself. And, and then I just decided to, went back to Stratbox and I started mapping myself, right? And what I'm going to show you is, you know, we see the presence of these horizontal fractures, right? We see the presence of some slightly more steeper fractures. We see some later fractures that are slightly oblique. Actually, these ones are earlier than the in the red fractures, than the pink fra fractures you can see over here. And then the later fractures correspond to the compressional ones that are probably associated with this folding event. And then you get to see, you know, the zones, which, yeah, I would agree that are, they are potentially chloride field zones. And then uh, you get these beautiful later veins uh, that are probably formed during the, during the folding itself. So beautiful piece of rock that talk about different ages and the formations, uh, timing of the formation and, and fracturing. Uh, but also more importantly, just, uh, you know, just made me think that although the LLM models, you know, fan are fantastic to, I mean, are amazing actually, you know, ChatGPT has sent me a lot with a lot of other tasks. Great to, you know, compile some overall knowledge of geological information, more or less okay interpreting images with general geological information. But actually on doing the actual interpretation and mapping, there's still a long way to go before we can do to really precise, we can get to precise images.
So it needs to be trained with a lot of new, lot of geological rules. It's very, it's promising, uh, but I would say we are still a long way before AI can represent correctly Earth's complexity. And therefore we are going to still be living for a little bit longer with subsurface uncertainty and with the geologists as well. So thanks.